guys, Josh here with Planet Chinchilla. Uh, I wanted to come to you today about one specific topic, which is your chinchilla's cage. Um, I was already cleaning the cage today, so figured we'd go ahead and cover it. Um, as you can see, I've got Chili, who's my two-year-old female chinchilla, out. I've just got her in here right now because the basement isn't really chinchilla proofed at the moment for her. We've got a lot of cords going on etc. But anyways, so the title of this post is obviously the best chinchilla cages, so makes sense that we would cover why I have the recommendations that I do in this post. Um, if you haven't read the whole post, there's really only three cages that it came down to, and I have purchased all three. Um, it's the Prairie View Hendrix, which is a popular um, option, the Homey 3-in-1, and then the Critter Nation 2, which is the cage you see here. It's kind of a mess right now because I'm got her out doing our daily activities but basically what I did in the beginning was I bought all three of these cages so that I could test them and then just relisted them on Craigslist locally because a lot of people will buy these cages for other animals such as you know ferrets hamsters etc I mean it's a little bit big for a hamster but I think you get the point that they're kind of dual purpose cages in that regards the reason I stuck with this Critter Nation cage, which I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer up view. If you're not aware, I love the fleece liners too, the red liners right down here. These are amazing. Um, it makes cleaning take about, oh man, it's quick. Five minutes to clean the cage. Um, you know, a couple times a week, throw these things in the washer, you're good to go. <clears throat> Anyways, so you got some important things to keep in mind, especially if you just bought a chinchilla, it's even more important. Um, first, these guys, I mean, you just need to understand these guys' behaviors. Um, I mean, if I just let you watch her run around for a few minutes inside of this little animal play tent, I mean, they love to jump, they want to hop, they want to explore, and they need the space to do so. I mean, otherwise, you run the risk of them getting, you know, complacent, upset. I mean, especially if you don't have two chinchillas. She is just covered in dust, man. She is loving it today. So anyways, they need that space to jump. So as you can see, here's one entry. This can actually be covered when you buy the cage. So this takes you from level one up to these dual levels, which, you know, I've just got her, you know, little castle, almost like a sand castle set up there. And I just keep her food bowl up here. A couple chew blocks, another little half hideout box, chew sticks. And this hammock she really likes. She doesn't tend to sleep in it, but she does like it. She uses it just allows you to, you know, hang the necessary items easily. I mean, these just attach real easy to the top. These bars are nice and thin. They're durable. Um, I mean, the cage just gets it done from every standpoint, which is another one of my tips in this post. Because you need these thin bars. You need this solid construction. Um, I mean, the cage needs to be escape-proof for obvious, you know, common-sense reasons. I mean, if these guys get out... Good luck finding them, especially if they have all night to explore or go hide. I also love that this cage, I mean, all of the shelves on cages like this are super easy. They just come with these little clips. Let me go around back here on this other side. They just have these tiny little clips. I mean, you just put them on there. You can upgrade anything, change platforms out. Attach your water bottles. I keep two on mine. I keep that one there. And then as a backup... I just like having this guy right over here. You never know. Um, just like her to have plenty of water at all times. And then the other things in my post, I mean, just simple things that are nice to have. The undercage storage right down here, that's great. I mean, that you can keep whatever you need to. Hay, um, you know, any of the food, accessories, toys, the sand, the dust, um, your dust container, whatever you need can go down there. Got plenty of space for the hay feeders, her nesting box. It's just a great cage overall. Um, if you're watching this from the blog post itself, I mean, it is the higher of the budget of the three cages that I recommend, but it is the best by far. Otherwise, I would have kept one of the other three and sold this one back off. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to either the blog post by clicking the link below or... If you just type in and Google best chinchilla cages, I think it's on like page two right now. It's like number four or five on page two. It's planetchinchilla.com is the easiest way to see this post. 
um, just so you can read all 19 of my tips. I'm only giving you a few of them in today's video. Not nearly all of them that you need to know. Um, but we covered the biggest things. The cage needs to be big, needs to be easy to put together. It's skate proof. You want to add the accessories quickly, easily. You can see that she's got plenty going on in here and some of her stuff isn't even in here right now because I'm cleaning it. Um, but yeah, it, it's great. Like I said, if if you haven't bought a cage yet, go with this one, especially if you plan on getting two chinchillas at some point, this cage is going to get it done for you. Um, <clears throat> use the link below if you need to. Again, it's planetchinchilla.com. If you just type in best chinchilla cages, um, in Google, it'll pop up on page two at planetchinchilla.com. You can use my link to go see these, this post and read more about my recommendations. I'll give you a few tips in there about how to add some of these accessories, where to get them, or you can just go directly to planetchinchilla.com, and I think it's on the homepage if you need more info about it. But yeah, guys, um, be careful when you purchase these cages if you're not going with this recommendation. You don't want wire bottom cages. You don't want a small cage. I mean, like I said before, these guys, they want to they want to go crazy. They want to have some fun. Um, give them the space to do it. And obviously, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like this channel, go ahead and click below, subscribe, hit that little bell so it notifies you the next time I do a video. Otherwise, we will catch you next time. Thanks again.